Hello there. Welcome to American Truck Simulator. Just going to give you a quick rundown of six of the engines available in the Steel Productions engine pack. So, happen to be in a Peterbilt 579. Going to go up to my truck configurator and drop into engines like so. Now, I have a few mods attached to this profile, but not to worry, because the ones that we're looking at should be fairly straightforward to find. So in fact, here's the first one, the Packer MX-11-355. 355 horsepower, as you would expect, and we can verify it comes from the production, steel production engine pack right here. We also have a 375 and a 400 model available here. And elsewhere, we have the Cummins X-12. We have a 350, a 410 Smart Talk, and a 475 that's a little more expensive. Where's that gone? That one's right here. I think for now, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the, the 410, the kind of mid-range model. Let's see what transmission. I'm using a 13-speed. I can see over here, that'll do just fine. So go ahead and do that. And I'm going to go ahead and drive that because we can. <sighs> no, turns out I need to take a rest. So this mod does not give you any additional sound packs. You're using the, the, the standard sound here. Let's just pull into the garage here. Uh -huh. and stop. Okay, take my break. All right, this might be, well, this will be a much better trip. So it's 6.30 in the morning. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn on my lights. So I think it's 6.30. Back out of here. Da, da, da. Do I need any fuel? Mm, nope, full tank. Okay, I'll go for a quick run. So like I say, you don't get any extra sound uh, with this. You just get the uh, the torque curves and so on and so forth. Yep, I think we're good here. I didn't use my blinker and I should have. This is a mid-rate engine. Smart torque, that means in the lower gears, you only get 14, 50 foot-pounds of torque. In the upper gears, you get 16, 50. What does that mean? Well, it helps you stay in top gear when you're carrying a load, especially. Time to get Drop me into top gear. So right now, if I give it some power, I've got all of that full torque potential. Wrong lane, David. So it performs like a 1650 foot pound. Great. I disable cruise and turn on my engine brake. I've also told the transmission and the engine rather, hey, shift down to help you with the engine braking. And that's because it's a smaller engine. The engine brake is not as effective as the bigger 15 liter models. So let's demonstrate. Engine brake on. Drops down a couple of gears and that works pretty well. Let's get back on the power that people behind me. Power, it wants extra revs. Not that it's giving it, but it could do. It will up a hill. Off the power, and I'm going to aggressively ignore the stop sign. Charge over this bridge. Oh, there we go. That was an utter failure. And uh, accelerate as hard as I can on this on ramp. Like so. Big leg there as the transmission figured out what you wanted to do. But now it's done it. Yeah, these older gearboxes, they're just not as fluid as the newer ones. Slow down. Okay, so that's pretty much all I've got to show today. It's just an engine definition. There's no special sound or anything like, like that. But 
I spent a good number of miles just optimizing this thing, getting it to so it looks and feels as the real thing should do. So hopefully you enjoyed this. You can leave some comments in the Steam Workshop or on my YouTube channel and I'll get them. And uh, that's all there is. Hope you have a great day. Thank you so much. Goodbye.